Hi, my name is Christy Alborg, and I am the Faith Community Nurse Coordinator at Sheboygan Ifri Church, and I am also a registered nurse. It's so great to be at this point where we can meet face to face in live worship again. And at this time, I would like to thank our pastoral staff and our elders for their meticulous and consistent monitoring of the COVID-19 situation as it related to us at Ifri from all levels, all angles, locally, nationally, internationally. We have been so blessed to have such a team that has been extremely proactive in their knowledge and their wisdom and godly insight. This alone has made us feel so safe. Although we have been, become quite familiar with the pandemic safety precautions over the last three months, it's still important to remember that we are entering into a new transitional phase of the COVID area, namely reopening and rephasing into our previous way of life. We have not been here before, and this new transitional phase may have some twists and turns of its own. Just expect it. As Dr. Highlander has been wisely reminding us all along, we need to be flexible and fluid times, and that includes each phase that we are in, whether that's inside the church or outside of the church. Continuing safety precautions after our safer at home restrictions have been lifted remains wise and essential. This will require lots of patience, lots of perseverance, lots of prayer, and lots of grace. We should continue to be mindful of appropriate physical distancing and space between ourselves. Continue to practice good hygiene, especially good hand washing, and don't forget that hand sanitizer as you walk out the door. We should continue safe cleaning practices as always, particularly wiping down and disinfecting disinfecting surfaces of well-trafficked areas. So these are all good habits that probably COVID has taught us to keep continuing. We are providing masks as an option. Remember, they protect others from you. And we should, at this time, keep face-to-face -face exchanges to a minimum for now, especially in close-quartered areas such as aisles, hallways, bathrooms. For those of us who would rather wait to return to live worship, that is absolutely fine. We continue to have our 9.30 a.m. service live stream. High-risk groups or those that are vulnerable in any way may want to consider li the live stream service from home as we just venture through the transitional phase together. People that believe that they may have been exposed or that have signs and symptoms may wish to stay home also just for a couple of weeks. As I said, this is new, it's transitional, and there's gonna be twists and turns. So thanks, friends, for the amazing and God-honoring way that you have endured and remained faithful throughout this time. Let's continue to be wise, stay informed, and be healthy and safe together. God bless you.